Well, good morning, folks. Um, strangers. Um, okay. Algebra 1, this is. One of these days, I should just, like, mix all the titles around so you gotta find the video. Okay. Um, today is gonna be kind of a, um, uh, a different day than yesterday in the sense that yesterday we worked on a lot of applications. Today we're just going to work on, uh, just reviewing some factoring and solving. Um, and then we're gonna keep, keep moving on tomorrow. Okay. So... So from yesterday, we had a couple of questions. Let's take a look at some as well. Um, we are going to submit assignment today. Um, so I will try and remind you of that at the end. Okay, um, 48, um, I went ahead and took out a negative 16 and you get uh, negative 272 feet, so that would be into the ground. No, not going to work. 50, I had a question on 50. So here's the equation they gave us. So I'm going to factor out what I can. Okay, this is the height time model we talked about yesterday. H is equal to negative 16 t squared plus v sub 0 t plus h sub 0. Okay, but um, it's just in a different order. Okay. They wrote the uh, velocity portion first. So this tells me Earth, tells me it's they're launching at 80 feet per second, and they're also telling me it's launching from the ground. But either way, let me take out a 16t. I can put zero in there to make that part zero. To make this part zero, it's got to be five, so it's going to hit the ground in five seconds. Okay, 58's d, 60 or 58 is h, 60 had a question on 60 as well. Okay. So on these, I can't state enough that just start with the equation. Area equals one-half base height. And then plug in what we know. They said the area is 5h. So that right there is from what the book is telling us. And then I'm just plugging in what is specific here. One-half, my base, they called it h for whatever reason. My height is 2h. So then I'm just going to simplify. One-half and two are going to cancel. So I'm left with 5h equals h squared. Now remember, whenever there's an h squared, you have no choice but to get it set equal to zero and factor. So I'm going to move my 5h over, so it ends up negative 5h, take an h out, and we get zero and five, so my h is five. But they're asking for the height. So the height of this is twice that, so my height is 10. 30, there was a question on 30 as well. You'll notice I'm not putting odds here. I'm expecting you guys to be good enough students to check your odds in the back. On 30, you got the area, area is 36. Uh, so this one, there, there is a, a, a little, this one has a little bit of a hurdle in it that we didn't do an example of. Um, so good job to those who asked this question. I'm very impressed when kids contact me via text or, um, or submit a question on the discussion. So here's what we have. Area is equal to one half base height. From the description, they said the height is six greater than the base. So base, base plus six, because that's six bigger. So my area is 36. My base is B, and my height is B plus six. So now what do we do? Well, I can't cancel these because on different sides. So let's just distribute one half B squared plus 3b, because 1 half of 6 is 3. So let's get it. There's a b squared, so let's get it set equal to 0. And then I got this 1 half that I don't like. Well, what have we done in the past when we have a 1 half that we don't like? Multiply everything by 2. 0 times 2 is 2. 1 half times 2 is 1b squared. That times 2 is 6b. This is negative 72. So now I can go ahead and factor. B, B, and the factors of 72 that I'm looking for are plus 12 minus 6. So B is either equal to negative 12 or B is equal to 6. And B can't be negative since it's a length. So B is 6. Okay. I don't remember what they were asking on that problem, but... Um, 
they were asking for the height. Well, you've got the heights now 12, um, but B is 6. 39 had a little mistake in the back of the book. Good catch to Shea. Nice job. It should be 4x plus 26. So if you got plus 26, you did it right. The book was wrong. Okay. In my book, they had the right answer in the teacher's manual in the front, but in the back, they had the minus 26. So, um, so they were just wrong in the back. I can't imagine how hard it would be to write a textbook and get everything right. Okay. <clears throat> so today we're just going to factor, and, and some of them we're going to solve. Sometimes your job is just to factor, and sometimes your job is to solve. So I'll talk about both of those. Let's say if I said factor. No applications today. We'll get back with that tomorrow. So our job is just to factor it. So factor it. We're going to break it down and rewrite it as something times each other. First thing you'll notice, everything is even. So let's take out a 2. That is the thing that's going to be the most important for you at times to go ahead and make your life as easy as possible. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and double check it. 2x squared, 1, and 10 gives me 11, and 5, good. And then um, you have the 2, so you're in good shape. So that would be the factored form. Let's say if I change the problem from order from factor to solve, well then I would have solutions here of negative 5, negative 1 half, and here I can't make that 0. It's 2. There's no x there, so I'm just going to get two solutions. And one thing that tells me how many solutions I'm going to get, so there's my two solutions. Okay? Another thing. I want to talk about a prime number. Hopefully you guys know what a prime number is. A prime number is a number that has only two factors, one in itself. So 2 is prime because it's 1 times 2. 3 is prime, 1 times 3. 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, da 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 da. Well, these are things that I cannot factor besides just one times, okay? There are actually prime trinomials as well. If I look at this and try and factor it, my only options are 1 and 6, 2 and 3, and I'm going to grab my pencil here so I can erase. So let's say I try 1 and 6. That gives me a 13. It's not what I want. Let's try 6 and 1. That gives me an 8. It's not what I want. So 1 and 6 does not work. 2 and 3. 2 and 6 gives me 8. That does not work. Flip my 3 and my 2. 3 and 4 gives me 7. That does not work. So this thing cannot be factored. It is prime. And it's just like, say, for example, again, go back to the ring of keys problem. <clears throat> if I give you a ring of keys, say, go get something out of the coach's office, and none of them work, I gave you the wrong ring of keys. So it doesn't, not everything is factorable. Not every ring of keys has a key that's going to fit the lock. So sometimes it's just prime. Okay? So today, we're going to keep it shorter today, page 509. We got 50 through 53 for our ACT review, and 63 and 65. Page 513, we're going to go 11 through 27 odd, and 46 through 48. Okay, today I do want you to submit your assignment. Okay and try and submit it in a way such that um, it's nice and clear for me. And um, then I can take a look and see what, see what, see um, see how you're doing. So, thank you very much. And I think those that are um, really still getting after it, wonderful. It's going to pay off. Some of you guys might be thinking, okay, why do we even keep doing this? 
Well, because right now you're missing a fourth of the year, okay? And we would have covered information in this fourth that is going to be very important for you. So trust me, I'm going to look at just what I would consider the important information. I'm going to remove a lot of the fluff, and we're just going to make sure you're ready for a couple things. Math next year, and to get good solid ACT scores. Okay, Because if I just stop right now, there's some things that you'll be a little bit behind on, and we don't want that. Okay? So, I think mathematically, I don't think it's too much to ask for 40 or 45 minutes out of your day. Um, and, again, this is stuff that you would be doing even if you were here at school. So, please, stay disciplined and, uh, and do a good job for, for yourself. Okay? Again, submit that one for me today. Have a great day. And miss ya. See ya.